Hello and welcome to this blended tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today I will be showing you guys how to add drivers in Blender 2.8. So we'll be working with this cube here and before we continue, so let's just align it to the front view. And then let's add a driver object. So in this case, I'm going to be using an amateur and single bone. I'll just push it to the side. Then let's just rename it. So we'll just call this driver. Or you could also rename this by clicking on the object tab. And let's rename the bone also. We'll call this driver bone. So this is going to make it easier for you to select your driver later. So the property that I want to drive in this is the shape keys. So we'll just add the base shape, then click the plus again for another shape. Then let's increase the value to one and hot go into edit mode. Um, then we just want to just Just want to push it up okay so we have created a nice shape so the next step is to add the driver onto the object so the way to do that you just let um, right click on the value and add driver so in blender 2.8 this new menu pop, pops up so this is where you can control it and you can move your mouse away and if you want to get back that menu, you can just right click again and edit the driver so you get that back. So the, by default, you get scripted expression. Then you have um, expression, then the value plus zero, zero, zero. So that's just um, parameters you could use to control the driver. So let's set it up. So we'll just keep all this, skip all this for now and just go down. Um, so for the add input variable, what you want to do is select the driver bone, then you select the driver bone inside. So once you do that, um, next you will have to define um, what kind of movement is going to enable trigger the shape key. Um, so in this case, I want when I move the bone up, then this goes up, up uh, goes up also. Um, so let's set that up. So to do that, you just select the cube once more, um, edit driver, then set it to Y location. So if you're not familiar with how Blender works by default, it's um, Blender up axis is Z location. But when working with bones, it actually uses the real 3D, which is Y up. Um, next, you want to set it to local space, space which is important. And once you do that, um, let's go back and see. So if you move this, it just pops up. Um, so right now, I don't like how it's moving. So let's so edit that um, attribute because it's, I, I want it to like move little. I don't want it to just trigger so fast. Um, to do that, let's um, click on edit. What is time? Because the settings here are, are limited. To get more settings, all you need to do is just click on Show in Driver Editor. Okay, so this new window will pop up. And then I want to go to the modifiers and select the value key. So make sure everything is selected. Because if you don't have anything selected, the modifiers. Oh, it's working even without like that. Okay, so just add a modifier generator so what this generator does it can affect the timing of the whole thing so if i put it to zero the curve just lay flat but one it's moving um well so i want to reduce to something like 0 0.1 so that the when it, it doesn't trigger so fast so let's try that again so as you can see now the speed has reduced uh, let me just reduce it one more time 0.03 and I like that so let's just add another cool effect let's add like a noise so this will make it have like jagged movement 
um, let's just play with the parameters something like this cool so now if we move this so you're getting noisy movement um, so that's bas basically that um, another tip is uh, for this expression so don't let it in intimidate you you could just put um, variable and it's still equals to variable plus zero 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 so yes it's good uh, most of the times if you're creating base drivers you don't need any complex expression so um, just type in any text that's here so if you have ty here you also should have ty here so that's what that means so if i want it to go in the negative axis i just put negative ty so it's going to do the opposite so if I move it this direction, it's not going to go. So it's not clear because I let's, um, open the driver editor. And let's just turn off this noise for now. I'll just turn it off so that it can be clear. So if I move it up, nothing happens. But when I, once I move it down, it does that because I set the variable to negative ty. So that's it guys so i hope this tutorial was helpful to someone or you guys if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and if you wish to see more from me i do post regularly just hit the subscribe button so okay bye bye for now